Welcome to Planet Algal, where we discuss all things about the Algorand network. Today, we're going to be covering the basics of the official Algorand wallet. First thing I will need you to do is, based on your device type, to go to the appropriate app store. Now that we're in your app store, go ahead and search for the Algorand wallet. You can see here that we have some different choices that pop up. But the one that we're interested in is going to be the one from the Algorand Incorporated. That is the foundation's wallet. This is considered the official wallet. Once you have that identified, should look like such, please click the install button. This will go ahead and install it onto your phone and we'll see you once it's ready to go. Okay, now the official Algorand wallet should be installed and you can see it's here on my phone. We'll go ahead and we will open it. This is going to be a first time run through of the app. Real briefly, I do want to mention that this is a cryptocurrency wallet. In that sense, it doesn't just ma manage algos, which are the main coin of the Algorand network, but it can also manage any other assets. The best way to think of this wallet as is as a physical wallet. You could have other assets in it besides algos. You could have tokens that could be utility tokens such maybe such like maybe in the future a identification token or you can have other tokens of values which could even be a coupon token but we will cover that more in a later video however let's go ahead and get started with the app the first thing we will need to do is to click the add account button when we do this we are presented with four options the one we're going to cover today will be to create a new account now the wall is going to ask us to enter a passcode for the device. Please choose something that is appropriately strong. I will be entering a basic easy one for this tutorial. If you want, you can turn on Face ID or Touch for improved support and usage. And before we go any further, I have to tell you I cannot show you the next two screens. And that is because they have to do with the security of your account. You will be getting a 25 word monomic that is up passphrase as used to recover your account. If you were to ever lose your account, you would take this passphrase and put it into the official Algorand wallet and they would be able to recover all of your assets for you. There is no customer support or anybody else on earth that can recover your account. This is the only way to do it. It is very important and anybody that has this also has access to all your assets. So keep it safe. And Algorand is going to tell you that. They're going to tell you, hey, Please store this monomic somewhere safe. I would recommend putting it on a thumb drive or printing it off and keeping it somewhere safe. So please know, uh, go ahead and do that and I will see you back in a moment. Welcome back. I hope you stored that safely. Okay, now we have the account name. We will give this name Planet Algo. This will become the official wallet of Planet Algo. Okay, so here is the layout for the wallet. It's very nice. Up here in the upper left, we have my wallet icon. It indicates the name I just gave, Planet Algo. Underneath it are the assets. Every wallet on the Algorand network is going to have a default asset of Algos. Algos are required in order to make any transaction on the Algorand network. So every account, if it wants to do anything on the network, is going to require some Algos. You can see below that I can add a new asset, and we will go through an example of how to do that later on something that's called the test network. If I come up here to the right, you can see that I have this little QR code thing. What this does is it will go ahead and it will share the public address to my account. Anybody wants to send me any money, they have they could have to have my public address. Okay. You have two methods of sharing this: a QR code or a alphanumerical code. I would like to caution, if you share this alphanumerical code, make sure that you do a test transaction first. In fact, I believe the app is going to warn us about that. The reason we want to do that is because if even one number is off in this address, the money that the person sends can never be recovered. So Algorand has very cheap transaction fees. They're less than a penny. So just go ahead and make sure the person has the address correct by having them send a small amount first. And if that comes through, then you can have them send the rest of the money. Or I would recommend just sharing the QR code through a text message or something like that, but it's up to you. 
Over here on the three dots are the options for my wallet. You see here, I can rekey my account. I can view my passphrase if I ever lost it. Hopefully I will not. I can mute the notifications. I will not because we will be using them later when we send some algo to this account. I can also edit the account name and remove the account. When we look at the overall layout, I don't want to cover things too much, but if I wanted to add another account to the say I had deleted this account, I can click up here and I can add it back by scanning the QR code or by entering my 25 word monomic. Right, I can recover from the passphrase right there. And down at the bottom, I can go ahead and I can add an address book. This is very handy because those addresses, as you saw, are very long. So if I am sending somebody money repeatedly, it's probably good to add them to my address book to make that simple. I can also, here's a little send receive, a quick hit. We will cover this more later. I have my notification bell right here. Okay. And then I have my app settings right here. And we will cover, cover that in a moment. So now let's go into our assets again. This is the Algo asset right here. If I swipe, swipe to my right or swipe to my left, if I had other assets, it would bring them up. I do not. Up here, we can see my amount of Algo. I have it listed in US dollars. If you were interested and wanted to change that, you could come over to the settings in the bottom right and go to currency and you could change that. You can see my rewards. Algo pays you a nice interest rate just for owning Algo. There is no minimum of staking. This right here collects your rewards. I believe that the Algorand wallet is the best way to collect rewards on your Algo. And then I have my transaction history down here. Here's a simple filter. Once I have transactions, I can look at it very simply with this. You can see down here, I can also send and receive money. Great. Okay. Well, the first thing we need to do is we're going to send a little bit of algo here. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to, uh, you can watch the screen and I'm going to hit the receive button. Okay. So now let's go ahead and send some money to this. So I have my share QR code up here and with the other wallet, remember I could send them the account address, but I'm just going to use the QR code and I will send half of one algo. And I'm going to add a note. I'm going to say for Planet Algo tutorial video. Okay. I'll we'll preview my transaction on my other phone. I'm going to send it now. And I come back and there it is already. You see it's there. Now the red means right over here, this red means it's pending. But this goes fairly fast. And when it does, you'll see that there will be a little confirmation. So 0.50 algos were sent by that address. So that's very nice. So if I want to, I can click on this and I can see the information, including the, um, the asset type, that is the standard algo, and the amount. I can see who it's from, the, their public address. I can see the fee that was assessed is very low, less than one cent. The exact time and date, the round that it was approved on, the transaction ID, if I had wanted to, I could look this up in a Algo Block Explorer and look at the details there. And there's my nice little note there. Remember, everything on the blockchain is public, so anybody could take this transaction ID and look it up. And it's very beautiful, very fast, very simple. Okay, easy. So now let's go ahead and let's show how we would send this back. Okay. So we'll send it to the person that sent it to us. We'll add this as a contact. We'll just we'll give it my name of uh, test. And we are going to send money. I'm going to click the send button. And it's going to give me a couple tips here. One, remember to send a small amount. Well, we're only sending a small amount, so we're not going to worry too much. Two, telling you if you're ever sending to an exchange that they frequently change their addresses so make sure you're sending to the correct address and once you're okay with that hit i understand now if you're wondering about the exchange thing just make sure that you don't store it as a contact if you have a friend who has their money on exchange you have to ask them for their address every single time that is the best method and i have 0 0.50 algo so i'm going to send that back right but to send money, it costs a little bit. It's going to cost 0.01 algos. Okay.
And I'm going to say test money back. Okay. And I'm going to pick the contact. And the contact is test. Okay. So I'm going to send the maximum amount. I'm going to preview it. So from the Planet Algo wallet, I have the asset Algos amount 0 0.499. I'm going to send it to test. The fee is going to be 0 0.001 algo. And the note is test money back. I'm going to send the algos. Okay. And so that should go through fairly quickly. And you can see right there, the red means that it's pending. The red on the right over here means that it's a deduction. So the green is a plus. The red is a deduction. You saw the notification and I'm done. I'm back at zero algos. So that is all it takes to send and receive money on algo. Well, thank you and I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. To the channel. We at Planet Algo also look forward to hearing any question or comments that you may have below. Please also tune in next time as we will be adding a new asset to the wallet. This will be done on something called a testnet, a wonderful feature of the official Algorand wallet. Thank you and have a great day.